Well, we're going to start with our newsmaker segment and talk with the newly elected state senator from Missouri's 17th district in Clay County. She is two-term state representative, Democrat Lauren Arthur, who won the June 5th special election by a stunning 19-point victory over Kevin Corlew. Some political observers believe this victory is another early indicator of a blue wave building across the country that will lead Democrats to success in the midterm elections. Senator Arthur, congratulations on your victory and thank you for coming in. Thank you, great to be here. Uh, this is the first time we met, but I thought I knew you from all the TV commercials I've seen over the last few weeks. <laughs> I think everyone is glad that the election is over so they don't have to see any more political ads. As I mentioned in the introduction, there are those who think your victory is indicative of a blue wave, not your victory alone, but your victory and others across the country indicate a blue wave, Democrats having great success in the midterm elections. Do you feel that's going to be the case? I think it demonstrates that there's a lot of energy and momentum on our side. People are really motivated to show up and vote. But beyond that, I think this election tells us that when we have candidates who run and show up and work hard, um, you know, our, our success really depend, depended on our volunteer effort. And we had people knocking doors, families coming together on weekends to canvas neighborhoods. We had people across the state writing postcards, making phone calls into the district. So if we work hard, um, then I think that hard work will pay off. Uh, this is not the first time you run for office. You've served in the Missouri House. You're on your second term, I believe. That's right, yes. Uh, will you be sworn in in January in the Senate, or have you already been sworn in? I haven't been sworn in yet. I'm, I'm still finishing out my term as the state representative. A date has not yet been set in terms of um, swearing me in, but we're working through that right now. Your election occurred during the Greitens impeachment discussions and uh, a lot of criticism of the former governor and his party. Do you think that played any role in your success? Uh, you know, I think it was certainly on voters' minds. People on the doors would talk about Eric Greitens and ask why he was still in office, um, and none of us had a great answer to that question. But I think Eric Greitens, more than that, represented the worst of Jefferson City and his priorities over the last two years. Uh, he he put forward legislation that benefited corporations and billionaires ahead of everyday working, hardworking Missourians. And I think um, a lot of his legislative decisions also inspired people to come out and vote against what they had seen in Jefferson City. What do you think of Mike Parson, the lieutenant governor who is now governor? He seems to be reaching out to uh, local officials and to the news media and the congressional delegation. Do you have a better view of him? Sure. I received a phone call from him right. on election night, and so I thought that was a very gracious gesture. We've actually sat down and discussed his top priorities for the state. I think he has an earnest interest in trying to tackle some of our state's toughest problems. Um, but with that being said, we'll disagree on a ton of issues, and our state is under the control of one party. There are super majorities in the House and the Senate. And, and the governor's office. And, and so I do think, um, I'm hopeful that my election means we'll have more balance in the Senate and you know that will bring us to the table to find common uh, ground. I was gonna ask, why do you think Republicans have had such ascendance in Missouri over the last uh, decade or so? Well, you know, not long ago, many of the statewide office holders were Democrats, yeah, right, exactly. not so long yeah. ago. Um, and I think Missouri is, is a is actually a purple state, and uh, Missourians keep keep their ears open and their eyes open, and are willing to vote um, not along party lines, but for who they think is going to represent them. When you talked to Governor Parson and he outlined some of his goals, were any of them in sync with yours? Absolutely. Such as his top priority was infrastructure and making sure that we have great roads and bridges. Um, that's certainly an important issue in Clay County. Uh, with the Buck Bridge connecting us downtown. Uh, it's been a top priority, making sure that we have good roads and bridges. And um, then his other top priority involved workforce development. And uh, meeting after meeting, regardless of who the audience is, I hear that we have really great jobs, but we don't have the high-skilled workers to fill them. 
You once taught in the Kansas City, Missouri School District, uh, I believe. I education a major priority of yours? Of course, yeah. I taught sixth and eighth graders. Um, I believe that education is the key to helping people achieve the American dream. And so um, making sure that every child in the state has great educational opportunities is my top priority. And, and you're big on labor rights. That's right. Labor movement. Yeah, absolutely. They. Um, with we, over the last several years, we've seen attacks against working families, and making sure that you know over the last few years, we've also seen that employers seem to have more power and employees seem to have fewer rights, and making sure that there is balance. And right to work will be on the ballot in November. Right. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much for coming in. Good luck in your Senate career. Thank you. Nice to meet you. That is the newly elected Missouri State Senator Lauren Arthur. Now let's meet the panel and start a ruckus.